Hey guys, college football update for the upcoming week three or week four, if you want to call it that. That's the weekend that's starting um, like the Thursday night game is the 14th and the uh, 16th, I guess, is when most of these games are. So I spent a good deal of time with the college football algorithm today um, doing some of the formulas that I wanted to do um, and try to adjust the points to only include conference games, these division 1A conference games. There's a lot of work that still made to be like still needs to be done here, but I, and I also don't know if I have all my conference assignments correct because I saw a bunch of new teams in here. So if anyone's who's using this file or sees it in the video and they're like, hey Ken, you've got Baylor wrong. Baylor is a is not a D1A, although Baylor is a D1A. But like if you said, oh, Berthun Berthun Cookman got promoted to D1A or something, if I have any of these wrong, it's going to affect the scoring. And I, I don't know because there are hundreds of name combinations. Yeah, 300 of them. So I assume I have them right. Let me know if you if I have a team assigned in the wrong conference or not a D1A team or a D1AA team. Let me know because it affects things. So it'll do amazing stuff now, uh, retroactively. Like I made the first three weeks do amazing stuff and go 75 and four. And I got point projections to look better uh, by using only point projections related to conference games. So let's talk about this upcoming week really fast. We're not gonna spend a lot of time on it, but uh, I do wanna show you what we've got because it makes some, it makes some more sense now by removing the non-conference games. I still have some of the player stats related to non-conference games in here. And that's throwing a little more of a, of a flavor of all of the stats into these predictions, but it's not including them nearly as much as it did before. And it helps to normalize the point projections here, you'll see. So this is the upcoming week. Now, Another thing I noticed is that we have to put in some type of home field advantage in football because it's clearly, uh, you know, teams at home are going to win more. It's just like college basketball in that sense. There needs to be some type of home bump, which I did not put in here yet. But what we can do is, is do the real quick way of saying, what are the premium picks that it says would win on here? Well, watch this. This is top down. This is the list. Okay. It's Florida State all the way down to... You know, there's 54 games as we can all the way down to Arkansas. Now, as I'm looking at this list, I would say, okay, I think college football is the type of sport where you probably don't want to have money on the away team hardly at all, which means all these away teams that it's picking, 21 of them, I'm going to ignore them. I'm going to look at just home games and neutral site games, which leaves us with 33 games. I'm also going to look at games that have unbelievably good money lines. So we're going to resort this list by descending by money line, meaning the biggest underdogs are going to pop up on top. And here we have four home underdogs on here. Their margins are low, but Houston is a little bit better against Texas Christian and TCU. Here's your projected scores. Notice it predicts a tie game here. Notice it predicts a loss. Check this out. That's interesting. Wow. So this is where the point projections disagree with the wind strength. The wind strength is figured out in this uh, season pivot sheet where we start messing around with distributions here, which I just started testing these out to get this to work, but we're going to test these out every week. So th there's this is not a tutorial video about how to update this file yet because it is not ready for that. It, I am in experimentation mode right now. So this is still a war, very, very new beta testing, evolving work in process. But this seeing this here makes me want to stay away from these teams actually because the point projections don't agree with this. But with these two, it does. So Mississippi and Houston are two teams you should consider taking plus the points and maybe even taking them to win. That's where we're gonna start as we're analyzing this file. So that, that's kind of interesting to see. Then there's some reasonable ones with lines here and, and like here point projection disagrees. It doesn't think, thinks New Mexico state wins by points, but it thinks New Mexico wins by margin. So it's disagreeing with itself. 
So you want you want there to be a confirmation. Like Louisiana Tech at minus 195 over North Texas, that's a confirmation. It says they're supposed to win by six, it's 23%. So let's back up a second and show everything again descending by algorithm wind strength. And I'm tech, I'm tempted to mess with projected margin of victory too. I'm sorry. I actually am gonna do that. Ah, no, I don't know yet. Guys, I don't know. We're, we're still in experimentation mode. I really don't know what to tell you yet. So we need another week of, of results. And I need to look over the list even more to make sure that I've got scores correct from the first week because that'll screw stuff up too. There's a lot of more editing that needs to happen here. But I need to move on to NFL. So this is going to be good enough here for week four because we, we're not making promises yet about this file. It's still too under construction. But that is what it's doing. So if you want a copy, you can still purchase the rest of the month of September for a hundred bucks and you'll get emails from me uh, every week as I continue to update this. And I do believe by the end of the month, we'll have something that's a lot more standard and doing better things. I can already see it with, with the adjustments I made to the projected scoring and removing the non-conference game. So I'm really interested to see what happens with all the non-conference games out of here. All right, so that's the college football update. I will be back, I'll be back doing the results of college football, but there's going to be no more predictions on this this week because it's um, it doesn't need very much more out of it yet because we still need to do more testing. All right, so good luck, everyone. May all your picks be winning.